We have Bernard on uh, on on the Facebook asking, what style of shirt would you wear with the sheriff mirror? Um, Mr. Dandy. Okay, my understanding is um, uh, with the sheriff mirror, scanning memory banks. Waistcoat on a sheriff mirror is high colored or not high colored? I think it's the straight colored and it, like the, yeah. the stand up collar with the the, the jacket thing. has the stand up collar too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the most traditional way that people design that outfit is to wear it with a jabot, which is the lace ruffles. They were supposed to mimic the uh, the kind of neckerchief thing that people wore uh, 18th and early 19th century. Um, if you're not going to do that, that's fine. Uh, you can wear other shirts and other ties. I've seen it worn with like a ruche tie. I've even seen it worn with a necktie. I think a bow tie would look absolutely stupid. Um, but uh, usually what I've said before is... Um, a banded collar shirt is actually best um, because of the, the nature of how things are put together on that outfit um, or a wing collar, uh, sorry, a wing tip shirt. Wing collar. Yeah. Um, wing uh, tips or shoes. Right. Uh, wing collar shirt, not a turn down collar shirt is what I would do. Um, typically, again, you're kind of, it's a retro fashion. So a banded collar shirt is similar to the collarless shirts that would, or Shirts would be coming up really high, and then you'd have the neckerchief wrapped around it. Um, so that's how I would play it. I, would, I, don't, I think a regular dress shirt would look odd, and it'd be hard for the collar to have a place to go. The sheriff mirror has the. Um, I'm mixing up sheriff mirror and Kim Moore. And right now, I am too. The, I blame the shortbread. Is is that the one that it buttons all the, effectively buttons all the way up? It's like a doublet. Sheriff mirror. No, sheriff mirror has a has a button. Kenmore. Kenmore is more Kenmore like a doublet. doublet. Okay. Montrose is the bib, <clears throat> and then Sheriff Muir is a waistcoat and a jacket, Got but it. they both have a standing collar, or yep. the or at least the waistcoat comes up very, very high. See, very, I was very tight closure, if I'm not mistaken. I was thinking Kenmore doublet or the or the or the uh, what was the other one? Montrose. Montrose, and like you could actually probably get away because they close all the way up with not wearing any shirt. Yes. Um, then, assuming you're never going to open your shirt, but then you have no cuffs. Either. Well, but, well then. That could be your Chippendale outfit. God. Now I'm picturing I'm Eric guy. as a Chippendale ripping off the Montrose doublet with just the lace. We already on. did that Photoshop once. Is the topless no, Photoshop no, no. treatment has been done once already. And we're not doing that again. Um, so is it like Chris Farley and Patrick Swayze? The Saturday Night Live skit with the never seen it. Sorry, oh. but uh, yeah. So seriously, um, a bandit collar shirt um, would be my go-to, or a uh, a wingtip. Sorry, wing collar shirt like you'd have with a tuxedo. Um, but yeah, you don't have to have any kind of a shirt that's going to have any decoration to it or any style to it at all if you're keeping something like a Montrose doublet or a Kenmore doublet closed completely all the time. Um, but yeah, that's in a nutshell. Sure. I think I've had too much whiskey and too much shortbread because I don't feel very focused at the moment. <laughs> Not my best answer. Mm -hmm.